Design systems are the foundation of effective and consistent design in today's digital world. Whether you are creating a website, a mobile app or any digital product, a design system is essential. But what exactly is a design system and why is it crucial? A design system is like a set of building blocks for creating a consistent user experience. It consists of various elements – colors, typography, buttons, icons and more. Big brands like Google, Apple, Airbnb use design systems to maintain a consistent brand identity. Hello, my name is Alexey and in the next 15 minutes I will show you how to create a design system from scratch, so you can apply it to your project later. Hit the like button if you are excited and let's begin. Ok, let's start creating our design system and usually I start by assigning uh, font styles. So I click T key and start creating H1. Let's, let's call it H1 title 48 bold. And then I copy it, call it H2 title, and this one will be smaller, something like 32. And then H3 title, which is even smaller and 24 will be enough. Then let's have our body text. Body text. And sometimes I also use the small text for smaller things like like labels for icons for other smaller stuff and now when we have all these styles ready we click here on this style icon and plus i name it h1 and create the style then repeat this procedure for h2 and so on. When we have our fonts, font styles ready, it's time to pick some colors for our project. I usually create some boxes and I assign colors to these boxes to see if they match my needs for this project. And only after that I will um, assign them to, to the design system. Uh, in this project I want to have something uh, Halloween related, that's why I will select uh, these orange colors together with some purples and greens. And of course we need some more colors for things like text. I usually tend not to use the uh, pure black uh, color and I, I, I like to use some dark grays most of the time. The one that is almost like black, and then something lighter, like about 6, and maybe even lighter shades of gray for things like um, outlines, strokes, maybe backgrounds. And let's add white usually white is good to um, paint your icons on top of different buttons things like that. Now when we have uh, our color library ready it's time to assign it uh, to uh, variables. We pick the color box, we have this fill um, parameter here, click on uh, the style icon and plus and then give it a name 
white. Same for this light gray. And repeat this for each of these color boxes. All right, we have our font styles and our colors ready. When it's done, it's time to go into details and start creating things like buttons, icons. One important thing that I forgot to explain is that for design system, I usually create a separate page just so I doesn't mix all these things with the project screens. So I will be creating the design system here and all the project screens will go in, in the design page. Let's continue. Now I think it's time to create some buttons. So I press T key on my keyboard and start creating buttons. Mm, for the button, let's use the H3 style. Actually, I need one more style, which is called H4 title and primarily used for things like buttons. Let's use 16, bold is fine, and add it to our library. H4. Now I can assign this style to the button. If you want to change the order, you can unselect uh, the object and go on this design a tab and drag it here so it's all in the perfect order okay i select the button text uh, that i created and press shift a to put it into auto layout it will allow us to control the horizontal padding let's increase to 20 the vertical padding 8 and what's more important, it will allow us to control the fill color and use teal color for this. I also want to add some corner radius. For corner radius uh, to make the button look like peel, I just put some big value and it becomes like this. What's good about auto layout is that when in the future we decide to resize the button it will behave like this uh, centered because we selected the align center here if uh, for some reason we want to uh, the button text to align left we do it like this very cool thing but for now let's uh, change the settings to hack contents so this will be button primary we have this button primary and now i want to create a secondary button let's have it here and rename it to button secondary the color for this button oh i forgot to assign the color for the text inside the button black and for this one black as well yeah the secondary button will have uh, the purple color and in this case black doesn't fit so we select white text inside now for these buttons uh, to be able to use them uh, in the project i need to make them components you can either do it by selecting the button right click and uh, uh, press the create component or you can also do it by uh, pressing command option key on your keyboard or on windows it will be control alt key now when we have these uh, two buttons as uh, components we can combine them as variants press the button here and we have this 
variants for these buttons. Let's group colors together. And fonts as well. So we have a better structure of the project. What I would like to do next is to create a couple of uh, buttons that have icons inside. So I want to put uh, some icon inside, uh, the arrow icon in this case. Uh, let's quickly create the frame F key uh, with the icon. And this will be a start for our icon library for design system. I press P key on my keyboard which stands for pen tool and I start creating the icon. Something like this with uh, the stroke width of 2. And let's remove the fill. Something like this. Good. Let's create a couple more icons so we can have a library of icons. Uh, what icons we might need in this project? This is icon that points to the right. Let's have icons that points to the left. Simply um, turn it to the left. This could be done by Shift H. Good. What else do we need? Uh, maybe the question mark to indicate that the user can get some help. And uh, how is it easily done? You create the text with a question mark, uh, right click and outline stroke. Then you just put it inside of your icon. Let's rename it to icon question. And another one will be the warning icon with the exclamation mark inside. Let's use this polygon tool and create the triangle of the size that we want. Uh, this comes usually inside the box and to have this box going uh, around the triangle I do the flatten. So that we can resize it as we want. No fill, stroke, two, and let's have it centered with the, this soft rounded edges. Actually, let's apply this setting to all of our icons and let's put an exclamation mark inside again text exclamation mark outline stroke and put it inside then we resize it just as we want one more thing you see that this circle is not super perfect, so we remove it and we create our own circle inside. Now select all the icons, remove the fill color from them and uh, change the colors to black. Good. Then, one by one, we turn these icons into components. Now I select all of them and combine them as variants. And rename it to icon. Cool. Now let's select this icon, copy it and paste inside the button. Um, 
Actually, let's resize the button height to 40 and 40 will be more easy clickable than with your thumb or mouse. And one important uh, thing to add here is that for this type of button I want to change the uh, gap between items to auto. Uh, it does this trick when the button is resized. Its elements are are attached to the edges, of course with the padding that we selected before, so something like this. And I want to have similar thing but for the secondary button. Alright, we have our basic design system ready.